Yo, what is going on guys? My name is Zalitz and today we're going to be doing Kefka's event as well as attempting his EX mission because I've been hearing this one is pretty tough. But hopefully I'll be able to do it with uh, with the characters that I have available at my disposal. So like I usually do, I'll post his story event and right after his EX mission if I can get it. And with that, let's go see what this clown wants from us. But it's gonna be Okay, and here we are, Kefka's event, uh, Vagaries of a Fractured Heart. Now, let's see what he has uh, to offer here. All through with you. Alright. Sounds like he's telling somebody that he's uh, done with them. Oh, my goodness. I, I guess every character that's coming out is going to be a part of, like, you know, having to clear Chapter 10. But, you know, I'm keeping that in my back pocket for later. Lord Spiritus' warriors are really getting things done, Kupo. What do you what do you mean? Like, uh, all I've been seeing is them getting their their butts kicked all over the place. Care to see what they've been up to, Kupo? Hmm. <laughs> if you think you can manage such a feat, show me. <laughs> <laughs> that you would even try to use us is appalling. We are the law itself. That is the reason which the world follows. Cloud of darkness. Kupo, they didn't tell us anything. How about this one, Kupo? Emperor, what's this? A wretched god and its wretched spirit. I alone am all that's needed to rule this world. Shall I destroy it here and now? Hold that thought, Kupo. If you destroy the world, the torsions go with it, Kupo. That would put you in a bind too, right, Kupo? Then bother me no more. The next time you have an audience with me, it will be in a battle over the Conqueror's throne. Well, all the villains are complete a-holes. <laughs> Kupo, let's try the Sorceress, Kupo. Is... Sorceress? Okay, Ultimisha. Ha! Deceitful spirit. Still you persist with this act. Unaware of that within you, eating away at your very self. Kupo! No one is cooperating, Kupo! You know, we don't have a reason to play nice with each other like you widow warriors of white. This does not sit well with me, pretending to let us do what we want, while it's really for your own hobbies. Well, I'm through with you. <laughs> Time to get on with my bad self just the way I like it. Are you going to cut ties with Lord Spiritus, Kupo? Is that really a wise idea? See ya. I care not. At least I can grasp his motivation, unlike you. <laughs> Kupo, I'm working hard for the sake of the world and its gods, Kupo. Doesn't seem that way to me. Um, okay. So we see the villains all are uh, at each other's necks in this story. Which we haven't seen before, so it's very unusual. Usually the villains are working together to defeat the bad, or the good guys. But in this case, it seems like they all have their own goals in mind. Uh, but anyways, first mission here. Uh, I'm gonna bring, gonna be using the same team I used in my last, uh, in my last playthrough for Ridia. I'm just gonna be using Cloud Saws and Waka here. Um, and then you know the enemies here. We see the Dark Skeleton, the Goblin Mage, Floating Eye, and then the uh, blah, 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 the uh, Deus Ex Mach. No, just <laughs> the Vanguard Magitek armor. Um, so let's just go ahead and. Uh, just get through with this. Let's just clear it as fast as possible. I yes, okay. Before I start this, I do want to switch somebody because there was, there was somebody that I wanted to use. Uh, let's just pick somebody random because I don't want to use anybody else. Let's uh, let's go uh, put Kuja in here this time so we can actually clear this quickly. And I forgot to take auto battle off, but I'll take that off in the next one. 
And I even forgot to put uh, for if on. Uh, just going really fast. I don't know why. I should probably slow down just a little bit, but um, yeah. I'm, uh, I'm just going to be clearing this as fast as possible. I'm just going to clear everything so I can get to the important stuff, which is the EX mission for you guys. Because I've been getting a lot of requests to like show my take on it, even though I don't even know how to do it yet because I haven't tried it. So, But like I said earlier, like uh, they've just, like everybody's been telling me that it's been pretty tough to deal with. So hopefully it's not. Hopefully I can actually deal with it um, rather quickly. Like this boss. <laughs> even though I know it won't be this, even though I know it won't be this easy, but... Uh, we can only hope, right? Alright. Well, in the next one, I'll have to switch up a few things for uh, our team setup here. Not the team setup, but the summons and, uh, the summons and, uh, I think that was it. I think that I just need to switch the summon so that I don't use, uh, self and I can get more damage in. Alright, next, is the next story part here is gift box. Now, what kind of gift would be worth giving? <laughs> it has been a pleasure doing business with you. Consider it a deal, Kupo. Mog, Kafka, what are you doing here? Whoopsie daisy. I'll leave it to you to relay the particulars. TTFN? I, I'm not really sure what that. I'm not really sure what that's supposed to mean. I'm not sure if that's just like. I don't know. I have no idea what that's supposed to mean. <laughs> Mog, did you just accept Kefka's dimensional coordinates? You mean to fight with us? No. How could you? Mog, you know what Kefka has done. It, he was so very insistent about it. Whether you use them or not is up to you, Kupo. That is not what we're talking about. We're talking about your behavior. That man has slaughtered countless innocents in his lust for carnage. There's no excusing his sins. Sins. You worked with Kefka for a time. What's his goal here? Would you be able to detect any ulterior motives? Shadow, are you really... I'm eliminating emotion to assess reality. Are you telling us we need to get a grip? I don't expect it to come easily. There's no telling when Kefka might betray us. By Mughal logic, <laughs> that would make Mog a traitor too. Kupo. So the moment Kefka starts acting suspiciously, we should be prepared to eliminate him and Mog wholesale. Mog, why? We don't need to reach a conclusion immediately. Let's take our time thinking things over. Well, Edgar sure is ready to destroy Mog. <laughs> Uh, although I still don't know what TTFN stands or means or stands for. If somebody knows or if that was just like a <laughs> type thing where it's like, you know, just a, a gibberish kind of thing, whatever. Let me know because I don't, I, I don't know. I have no idea. Um, yeah, let me just go ahead and switch to Ifrit here so that I can deal more damage. The enemies we see. Okay, so this is the main enemy. Let's, let me see what this guy let me see what this amalgamation of bones has to do with us. Okay, so he's a skull wizard. Okay, and he's type skeleton, which is surprisingly, or surprising to me. Um, the Wonder Tifa's good here. And, uh, okay, so he has low resistance to attack down and blind, which means Waka might actually be good here. Okay, so... Oh, he also is resistant to dark, which I'm not going to be using anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Um, so his first ability here is Dark Awakening, a dark bravery magic attack that grants defense up. Life cut, melee HP attack, brazenly it smirks, uses candle in the wind next turn. Okay, so when he uses this ability, it is get ready to get destroyed time. <laughs> candle in the wind is a melee HP attack after changing own bravery base or changing? 
or charging. I have no idea. Changing own bravery based on attack. Arcane fingertips. Oops. Uh, grants max bravery up. It is a melee or dark melee bravery attack after increasing bravery based on attack. Low turn rate. Okay, so this he seems to have a lot of uh, increases bravery based on attack. So having that, that that attack reduction might actually be a really good thing here. Group dark rug. Group dark bravery magic attack. Soul sucking scriptures. Group bravery magic attack increases bravery based on damage dealt. Grants bravery regen and HP regen. Okay. So he's <laughs> he's going to have like a bajillion uh, buffs on himself. And then he also has Darkness Falls. Grants defense up, attack up, and speed up to himself. Oh boy. Um, uh, this is already not looking too good. I can already see why people are complaining and having t trouble dealing with this guy. Um, I don't really know what I'm going to use to uh, to defeat this guy. But uh, for right now, I'm just going to use Kuja and Cloud and just try to blitz everything down so we can get to... Uh, to deal with him as fast as possible, and the fact that he's not uh, weak to anything is probably the worst part about it. Like you know, he's usually skeleton types are weak to light, but I mean that would have made things way too easy, I guess. I don't, I don't know. It would have been, uh, it would have made things a lot easier for us, that's for sure. All right, put these guys into shambles, and before I do anything, let me go ahead and buff Kuja here, and I'll buff Cloud just for added effect. I don't really. I didn't really have to buff Cloud there, but uh, just to uh, have everybody on on point there. We're HP plus, and I think Kuja, yep, just HP attack away. And we're all primed up for the next wave, which is this uh, this ghost, this ghost and uh, ghostly ghoul. See, this should have been a boss for Halloween. They should have had this guy out for Halloween. That would have been sick. But. <laughs> Uh, let's just go ahead and HP plus. Kuja should be able to finish him off anyways. Oh, Darkness Falls. Okay, so that... So after... Okay, bro! Okay, so basically, after he gets broken, he starts to cast all his BS. Is what I'm understanding from this. Oh, boy. So he basically leaves you no room for error. As soon as he... Uh... As soon as he gets broken, he's going to be casting Candle to the Wind. And I can only imagine... How much more bravery he's gonna have when we actually do the EX mission? So, all right, now, now on to part three. Let's go ahead and do this. Um, enemies are pretty much the same, except they added a, a sweeper machine, which we don't really have to worry about. So let's just keep going. Let's just keep on trucking through this. Um, again, I don't know what I'm going to be bringing to this guy because I don't really know what I can use. I mean, I've seen a lot of people using like Vincent and whatnot to get um, to get more damage out onto the boss with Ifrit during the summon, which actually might not be a bad strategy, but the only thing that I see being an issue with that is uh, my, uh, my intents were to use Double Cloud. However, I don't know if that would work or not. I don't know if it'll work on this boss or not. I wanted to use double cloud so I could just get the uh, the launch, the launch, you know, double launches going to try and deal as much damage as possible in a short amount of time, which seems to work fairly well on most bosses. But I'm not too sure how it's going to work on this one, considering how much damage he's actually going to be doing. Because I've been hearing he's very strong. So we'll just have to wait and see, and I'll have to try it out and see how it goes. And if it works, well then, all right. You guys will see that strategy in the uh, <laughs> in the following video with uh, the, the the following EX video that I make after this one. If it works, and then I don't really know, because then I, I hear that other people use like uh, I've been hearing that other people use like uh, oh, okay. So no, it's not activated on his break. It must be H. It must be HP. Uh, his darkness falls must be related to his to the HP percentages that he gets or that, that he gets to. So I'm just gonna go ahead and finish and touch this. Okay, so luckily my cloud still does a decent amount of damage with finishing touch. So even if I don't use uh even if I use finishing touch in Ifrit's summon, I should still be able to get a lot of bravery to cap with. So that'll be good for me. I won't have to. I won't have to use uh, 
what's his name, uh, Vincent. I don't think. Hopefully not. But again, I may be forced to because Vincent has that, you know, that attack, that super attack down, which will probably cut the the amount of bravery he gets back by a lot. Which I can definitely see being very, very useful in this event, and because uh, and also Vincent has a lot of debuff that he has that he can put up on the boss. <laughs> okay, so Kefka's next uh, story event here is called Fract. <laughs> Not really sure what Fract means. I'm gonna have to look that one up, but uh, that mage Kefka, he hasn't done anything to us so far. I get that it's nothing good, but what did he do in your world? If it comes to a duel, I know as well. He ruined the world. Originally, he was a Magitek Knight of the Gastalian Empire. He would attack... He would lead attacks here and there on the Emperor's orders, but that was merely a bluff. He betrayed his Emperor, stole the power of goddesses, rent the earth, Murdered innocents, utter ruin. Stole the power of goddesses. Had he no cognizance of his crimes, some ideology or drift or driving goal. Kefka hasn't the heart for such luxuries as that. His mind is completely shattered. All he seeks is ruin. Nothing more. In other words, he can't listen to reason. Isn't this a right awful party member we've brought aboard? What is that Mog thinking? Mog's thought aside, what Kefka's deeds wrought are hard to forgive. Sacrificing the innocents and the powerless? We can no longer trust Mog's judgment. We must rely on our own. But how can we find our way in this world without any help? <laughs> it's a gamble. Mog professes he acts at the goddess's word, but we cannot take that at face value. Uh. Right, but if we watch his actions, we should be able to read his hand. Oh, Mog acts towards some goal other than the god's will? But what? We're one step behind him. What can we do? We can only prepare to remain staunch in our convictions when the moment of truth comes. So they're gonna be acting against a Mog. Oh! How the tables have turned. Okay, so we're basically facing the same enemies. Oops. Uh, let's go ahead and just jump on into this one again, and we'll keep it going. We'll try to uh, we'll try to keep this going. We'll keep this pace. Trying to blitz through everything, even though this boss is already seeming kind of tanky. Um, all right, I'm just gonna ring holy this, just to break these guys. Put them into shambles and with cloud. Let's just go ahead and cross slash. Get rid of this guy. Now let's go ahead and buff both of these guys. HP plus, and Kluja HP attack, very nicely done, and we're just going to keep going, keep going, HP plus, I'm not going to be able to, okay, I could, okay, alright, that's bravery attack, Cloud should be able to finish, yep, alright, let's just continue this by HP plus attacking, and we're going to bravery attack again, Cloud should be able to finish this, all right, moving on to the final wave here again, facing off with this uh, skull wizard. I'm honestly getting kind of worried because this guy is actually getting really, really tanky, like very, very tanky. And uh, usually when they're this tanky, it's usually not a good sign for the EX mission to come. Let's just go ahead and uh, HP plus there. All right, so he's using Darkness Falls. Cloud, let's just go ahead and finishing touch. Uh, HP attack. Let's go ahead and bravery attack this. 
All right. All right, let's just go ahead and aim. And then with Kuja, we're going to go ahead and bring the hole with this. Very, very nice. Candle in the wind. Okay, so that's just a straight-up HP attack that he does. Okay. But because his bravery is not that high, it's not going to be doing too much damage. But still, in the in the EX mission, I can already I can I can tell it's probably going to be doing like a massive amount of damage. <sighs> like what I can assume is going to end up being the case in this, in my success in this run. I can already tell that I'm going to have to have a lot of luck when it comes to the. Paralysis is. If I can get a, if I can get a few paralysis procs on the on the boss, I'm pretty sure I'll be able to get it fairly easily. But it's probably still gonna be a pain to deal with. So I don't know. It's gonna be it's gonna be a toss up. I'm not really sure how how I'm gonna do this. Um, let's just go ahead and just pick another Kuja. Stars Kuja. Let's just go ahead and uh, blitz through this. Alright, let's just go ahead and Ultima. Alright, no hits on the on the A group Darkra. Uh I probably should just ring holy like I always do. I don't know why I didn't do it, but it's fine. Alright, so let's just go ahead and buff Kuja and then we'll buff Cloud. And then we'll HP plus B, get rid of him. And with Kuja, let's just go ahead and HP attack. Cloud can finish this with another HP attack. Very nice! Alright, so let's, we're just practicing our team setup. I probably should have brought Waka with me to uh, to actually help with uh, with testing this on this last wave, or on this last mission. That probably would have been a, a really good thing to do, but... I am kind of a dunce. Did not think of doing that. That actually would have been really smart for me. Alright, so this guy, he's not going to be too bad. I probably won't have to waste too many abilities on this guy, but... Let's just go ahead and aim. Deal with him. Deal with him quickly. Let's go ahead and ring Holy Plus. Cap out. Cross Slash. Alright, HP Plus. Of course, it won't be going this fast in the in the actual EX mission. I, I, could, I wish it would go that fast, but it's not going to be going that fast. Alright, so let's just go ahead and HP plus the middle one. And we're just going to go ahead and ring Holy. Get our three stacks up. And now we'll just... Uh, eh, whatever, we'll just cross slash again. I mean, I won't be using this many cross slashes in the actual EX mission, so don't, don't even worry about that. I'm doing it here because... Uh, because I probably won't need to use that many for the boss. But I definitely won't be using that many... If any at all, during the EX mission. All right, so with Kuja, let's go ahead and am I gonna actually? Yeah, I'm just gonna Ultima Plus. Even though I probably shouldn't. Like I've said it before, I probably should just. Um, actually, I don't know. Maybe I should. Maybe I shouldn't. I don't know. All right, so using Darkness Falls now, he's gonna slow down. Yes, and I'll be able to uh, to finish and touch these guys or this guy. All right, bravery attack. Bravery attack. Alright. Let's go ahead and aim. And then we'll bring Holy. I'm gonna summon here. Now I'm going to. I probably shouldn't have that. Well, whatever, it's fine. Right, let's go ahead and Ultima. And let's go ahead and cross slash. Aim. HP plus. And with Kuja, let's just ring holy. I probably should have just HP plus, but it's cool. Let's go ahead and uh, finish and touch this, and should be able to finish him out here. See you later, bud. Yeah, I think launching is definitely going to be a key tactic in dealing with this boss. Um, but it, I, get, I think it all depends on how much HP he actually has. 
in the mission itself. All right, that's going to do it here for Kefka's story event. Surprisingly, we really didn't get to see too much of him. It was more of a combination of the heroes displaying their distrust in Mog and the villains showing their disdain for Spiritus. But anyway, next up I'll be attempting to beat Kefka's EX mission, and we'll just have to see how that goes, because I just don't know how it's gonna, how everything's going to work out. So be on the lookout for that, and uh, yeah, until next time, bye guys.